You. You need to give up your secrets. There's something inside of you. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out today what's going on in there. Howdy folks, I have a strange mystery on my hands here today. Went to an estate sale a few weeks ago and picked this up. But there was quite a bit of uh, storytelling behind uh, this particular little ship's model. And this is the Flanair, uh, the SS Flanair. It was a French uh, ocean liner launched and built in 1913. Uh, later on, she served as a Red Cross ship, of course, during World War I, including uh, hauling Jewish refugees and what have you. Unfortunately, the uh, Flanair met its end in 1940, was caught somewhere between the coastline between France and the Caribbean, uh, and was sunk. Uh, I assume German U-boats got her, but uh, yeah. And someone built this model, and the thing is, it's been in the family for generations. And I really didn't know what the significance of it was, but the curiosity was this. It's, there's something heavy and rolling around, a few things in there, I think, rolling around and rattling inside. I thought maybe it was radio controlled or something, but it's not. The propeller is in here by a nail. So somebody, this is a very old model. It's, um, it's kind of, uh, I guess you could say, very rough in some ways for an old model, but it was done obviously a very long time ago. But it's a fascinating old ship with some history to it. The uh, family had passed it down through, and Dad uh, the would be the grandfather, I guess, to the fellow that, that was there at the uh, estate sale, explained that he had always you know, coveted and kept this thing around. So the Red Cross, maybe the X marks the spot where the treasure is, I don't know. I hit it with a different metal detector today and I got a high tone and a low tone which means there is at least a couple of different kinds of metal or something inside the ship. So today the whole deal is this. We're going to try to open the center section up so we can access whatever's inside of it. Yeah, uh, wife wants me to keep it in good condition. So it's going to be a real tough job. But I think we can get this center section uh, out of here and the reason is because there seems to be a seam on each side here and a seam across this bottom section so I'm thinking this whole midsection might be able to be uh, we might be able to well we're gonna try stay tuned <laughs> as these events unfold <laughs> in order to prepare to get this open uh, I've got all my Apple you know computer type tools in here too because I'm gonna try to under you know go underneath the seams to get this up but because of the history and the weird stories that were behind this, I thought it would be best, you know, to get everything out that we might need. So I've got my card here. Okay, this is uh, from Claudia. She sent this over to me. I've got her pass card, uh, the uh, gloves, and the, uh, you know, bag it and tag it kind of thing from Warehouse 13 because we just don't know what's in here, right? Okay, I found the seam here a little bit and it seems like it is moving a little bit, but it's still resisting So there is still some issues or something that's connected to something that's not allowing me to Lift the center section out if the screen goes black and I disappear all of a sudden contact Claudia and Just let her know because you know warehouse 13 might have to bag and tag something out of here You just you just don't know these days But um, Yeah, there definitely seems to be something holding back here it's not allowing the sections here to let go. Like I was kind of hoping this would just lift out, but yeah, it's definitely, I'm checking now and it seems like it's been glued in from the front and the back. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do it without destroying anything. I took a break for a minute and I found that this section here is pinned in, but the pins are old and rusted. So I think I can pry at least this piece here away from the model that should give us enough access to get into the hall and figure out what the devil's in here i don't know if i like the way i said that okay so we're going to work on these pins and just sort of ease her up yeah yeah the pins are letting go and there's a big square opening at that point so yeah that that oh there she goes let's see what we got oh what the what in God's name is that? Huh? Uh. What the 
devil? Nah, I'm just kidding. First, I'll show you the hole. There's there's the hole there. It also, <laughs> looks like I got one of the pins sort of stayed behind. I think we can. Oop, ooh, ooh, broke off. Yeah, it's old and rotten. So, yeah, I don't know if we can get the rest of that pin out of there or not. Hopefully, we can roll it out of there. <clears throat> there it goes. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Yep. Boy, somebody did some interesting shipbuilding. Uh, Okay, first thing is you'll notice this little broke off little guy right here. And it looks like we have, yep, looks like the other end that was broken off, I guess at this end once upon a time. You know, it kind of tells us some history here. Now, the next thing is, oh wow. This is without a doubt, I can tell you right now what it is. It's either gold or it's lead. I don't know which, but haul it out of there. Let's see what we got. Phew, wow. That is heavy. Okay. I'm gonna say that piece of down on the bottom with the two pins is another uh, piece of lead or something. It's also, this is really thick. It's a good half inch thick haul. So somebody really rough cut this out in order to build this model. And at the bottom, it almost looks like it was, uh, you know, carved out like it was hand carved with a chisel, kind of like this kind of activity. It's really, I don't know if you can see in there very well, it's really rough looking. It's kind of amazing. The top and everything was done nicely, but uh, the the hull was kind of roughed in. Really not sure what they were doing with that, but the uh, lead, yeah, unfortunately that's, well, that's a good and bad. Plus there was screws here for some reason. I'm not sure why they had screws in it, but um, and it looked like an old piece of paper, like a note or something, but I couldn't quite make out what it was. And also, interesting enough, I don't know what kind of wood this is. It's dark. It's not like a pine, so, yeah. Wow, what an interesting adventure. Was it a bust? Well, not really. I think I'm going to leave the lead out. It was actually, I guess the model was built so it actually could sit and float properly upright in water or something, but... To me, it's just a static model that would be, I have a, uh, a holder that this will sit in, like this that holds on to it. So it's like, it, you know, it doesn't have to have that piece in there. I'm gonna leave the lead out. Um, I took some doweling and started cutting these up. So I think what I'm gonna do is put brand new ones in and eventually I maybe even put the cross pieces and sort of put this back together the way it should have been and well, maybe it was when it was new. The other one I gotta get out of, of course, gotta get this one out of here too. I'm not sure. Wow, I guess the wood has swollen up over the years. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, and a little old, <clears throat> a little crumbly. Yeah. I didn't think this was gonna be that hard. Yeah, yeah there we go. Whew. Wow, so we got, uh, Anybody else in there? Yeah. And so I made two of these. Hopefully they should sit right. All right. I scaled them from an old picture of the ship so as to try to get the right size. But uh, wow, I don't even see the hole here. Yeah, freebie from Harbor Freight. Always, always a good flashlight. Yeah. I brought it to the where the hole was. Theoretically, that should give me the pocket I need for where that should be. But, <clears throat> lots of sawdust now. All right, now we'll see if we can get her into the hole. Yeah. Yeah, it goes down in. Yep, okay. Very good. Using the old uh, pictures, I'll be able to restring this. I'm sort of glad we got to the bottom of the mystery because it was it was going to bother me until I knew what was in here. Yeah, a piece of lead pipe all hammered down and uh, then apparently it was nailed into the bottom of the hull which sort of says something about there's a lot of wood to this particular model. Very unusual too but again very old so like, who knows it's a couple generations back. Uh, I Using the uh, nails, the pins, I was able to put them back in the original holes and sort of push the top back on so she's back to where she was I think maybe we'll just leave it alone at that point I am going to try to get these fixed up so that I can string the 
pieces back up so it should be a little bit more uh, authentic or whatever from from her glory days i i think we're uh well we're gonna call this done deal for today the, the mystery <laughs> the hundred year old mystery of, of a chip here but yeah and uh am i disappointed uh, not really uh, at least i know what it was and i assume i know now what it was for and what it was intended for this to actually be put in water and float around in a little pond or well whatever i that part uh you know again with the pond thing we'll never know uh i guess the fella had a pond or something and he could put this in the water and float around our pool don't know so what are we doing for our next draw? Well, this, haha, you know, <laughs> Vivor, yeah, they had uh, this over here for a review. We played around with it, we liked it. <laughs> Pretty cool machine. It's like a little bench grinder, it's a buffing pad, it's a polisher, it'll do a lot of things. I didn't put any Jewelers Rouge on here because I didn't want to mess it up because this is going out to a viewer. It's, I want to keep it brand new for somebody else to enjoy and use. And it will not come in the original box. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll get that in the box, but here's, here's the contest we're gonna do this week. Little different, just like working on that mystery boat today, we're gonna do something a little different. Okay, I'm gonna give this away, but um, two weeks ago, we made a change to our uh, YouTube format and our videos, and there was something we added on there. It's a little, an extra little feature thing that's in there now that never used to be there. And uh, so you have to guess, okay, so now, you're gonna email me at ctrewards at gmx.com and in the subject line, I don't care, you can put answer, whatever you want, but uh, in your body or email, uh, we need to tell me what the change was and then if you can, it would be really handy, it would be nice, huh, your name and address so we can mail this thing out to you because the first person to get it right that knows that we've added something or made a change to, that ch to the channel that uh, we've added an extra feature on there that uh, you may or may not, most people probably didn't notice it there, but it's, it's, it's there. And in fact, all the videos now have the new feature added to it. So if you've been watching us for a long time, it'll probably be a no brainer. Uh, other people are gonna have to kind of hunt around a little bit and say, well, what, what could you add that would be a change feature to a YouTube channel? So yeah, that's the contest. And uh, email it at, to uh, ctrewards at gmx.com and just, the answer in the email as to what you think it is, what the change you think happened, and then just name and address, and the first person to get it right, yeah, the first person to get it right, I'm gonna pull that ticket, that person, and we're gonna mail this thing over to you in a strange box. <laughs> yeah, lots of bubble pack, you know? And, <laughs> cause I don't even know if I can get this back in there. This might just be taped closed with everything jammed in there, so I don't, I don't wow, oh man. I've tried getting them back in there. Oh, they were packed really well. Yeah, I might put them in a Ziploc bag and just send you the case. You figure it. You deal with it. You know. <laughs> this is like, uh. So you're gonna get this great little uh, buffing tool from Vibor, and I'll provide a link in the description below where you can actually find this if you're uh, interested in this type of uh, hobbies or you know crafts or whatever. Really nice little buffing machine. Doesn't take a lot of power. Yeah, you can even power this thing off of the uh, power station from Vivor. We tried that and works great, you know. And the power station can be recharged with uh, solar panels. So you can be very portable about, you know, what you're doing here. Yes, a new hobby. <laughs> Meantime, I gotta get out of here. And uh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and thank you everyone for you know just thank everyone be good be good to each other okay i'm out of here over and out <laughs>